Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to VR Essentials. We're live from Singapore, where you can get your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. In today's video, we're going to compare the latest Facebook Quest App Lab with the SideQuest and the Oculus Store. What does it mean for your privacy? Is it safe to use? And how can you install it? By the way, if you're new to the channel, very nice to meet you, and a huge welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Today's shout out goes to Virtual Reality Rick, Hotshot 80s, and P Diddy. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? So just in case you're not aware, Facebook did release a new tool called App Labs. So basically what this does is enables people to be able to sideload games onto the Oculus Quest, which are not yet on the Oculus Store. However, there is a certain number of things that other YouTubers have not been talking about, specifically a little more about the privacy and also what it can actually do and how it can affect your Oculus Quest. So let's talk about this a little bit more. Now, the good news is that all the apps that must be submitted to the Facebook App Labs must meet a 72 Hz refresh rate. Now, typically a normal app that is submitted to the normal Facebook Oculus Store is required to only use the thermal throttling power saver mode after 45 minutes of typical usage. However, with the Facebook App Lab Store, developers are not required to do that, which means they can actually activate the thermal throttling power saver mode before, which could add more stress to the Oculus Quest. So this is something to take note. In one of the latest updates, Facebook also rolled out the ability for Quest 2 users to be able to create sub accounts so multiple people could use the same headset using a different Facebook account without having to re-download certain games. Now, this will be exactly the same thing with Facebook App Labs. After you've installed your games, the sub account will also be able to have access to them. So it saves them having to download it twice. Now, all the apps on the Facebook App Lab are actually curated apps by Facebook, which means they have to be submitted to Facebook first for them to be able to approve them before they're listed on the main app store. What I feel is important to mention that perhaps the others may not have touched on is the fact that for any game that's listed on the Oculus Store has to meet Facebook's privacy policy, which basically means user data tracking. Facebook conduct a audit of tracked user data that is submitted by various different developers to the platform. And some of this data basically includes leaderboards, your friends, your voice chats, your storage on the cloud, and a whole bunch of different things. I'll put a link in the description below, which will lead you back to the table as to all the different things that they're tracking from third-party developers who upload their experiences to the Oculus Store. And according to messages on Twitter and also Reddit, Facebook apparently also charged 30% any indie developer or developers who upload their experiences to the Facebook App Lab and charge a fee. Now, personally speaking, I don't know what you think, perhaps leave a comment below, but I think since we provide our data completely free of charge to Facebook and they use it to sell it to other people, I don't think it's right that they should charge any developer of any kind a fee for us to be able to experience their apps. I think all the revenue should go back directly to the developers so that developers can use that money, reinvest that money to create kick-ass and more awesome VR experiences. What do you think? All right, so let's talk about the installation process. The first thing you're gonna need is what is called a SideQuest account. If you're not familiar with SideQuest, go to the link in the description below, which will redirect you to the VREssentials.io's website, where there's a really cool tutorial there by Cass and Cherry as to how to install it. So let's just imagine that you do have SideQuest. There are three different ways that you can install the apps from Facebook App Lab onto your Oculus Quest. Mike from VR Oasis shows how to do it using the actual Oculus Quest, as you could use the browser, go to SideQuest, and then go and find the app that you want using the tab called App Lab, and then you can just directly click the button there to install it on the Quest directly. Nati, however, shows us how to do it using your phone, which is equally as easy as doing it on the Oculus Quest by following the same rules. And Cass and Cherry show how to do it using a desktop. So again, you just go to the SideQuest website, log in with your user details, find the App Lab tab, and then look and scroll through the various different games, click on the game, which will redirect you to the page, and then just 
install it. Once you've installed the game, whichever way is your preference, you'll see inside of your Oculus Home in the store page, apparently, it will just show up there directly. Do go to the description below the like button where I'll put a link which will also redirect you to a list of all the various different games listed on the Facebook App Lab. So SideQuest now is basically going to become a directory for any entry-level developer who wants to submit games that are A, not necessarily listed on the Oculus Store, and B, who don't make it to the Facebook App Labs but can still make it on the SideQuest Store. Is Facebook really going to keep SideQuest around for long? Do leave a comment and also go and check out the video that I did in the link description below the like button which talks about this topic.